Hi, hi, it's the Tiny One Slash Gucci, and welcome to day 11 of Vlogmas. <sighs> oh, I'm so tired today. I went to sleep late last night, and um, as you can see, I uploaded the vlog, yesterday's vlog, a little late. Um, sorry about that. But I got it up, and um, while I was browsing through social media, unfortunately, uh, my internet decided to go out. And um, when I looked on my phone, excuse me about why it was out, routine maintenance. Okay. So while it was out, I decided to do some more... Uh, Lego creations, you'll see me actually putting these together and all that in the Lego video that I'm slowly working on. So y'all know the penguin. Here's a little like igloo. But then I also put together a little panda. Got a little panda butt with the little, it's got this little bamboo. I made a little cute unicorn and I made this cute little snail. Very, very adorable. And we got uh, Panzer is the one that's deciding to eat for today. Uh, <laughs> funny thing though, when I went to go sit down and I was about to hit record, uh, my cat Grim was right behind me, so I almost sat on her. And then she, like, meowed angrily, like, how dare you, and left. She's off in the corner over there. You can't see her off screen, but. Yeah, how dare I not know she was there and go to sit down? How dare I? Um, oh. Also, if you happen to watch my Sips by video that I also posted, I finished all the teas except the caramel dandelion because I, that was just a taste that, unfortunately, even sugar could not help. Um, leftover coffee from yesterday. I still haven't made a cup yet, and it's almost, it's going to be five at night. Whoops. But anyways, on to the squishies. And then, today's topic. Okay. So let's switch you to. It is a... Let's give a frog. Okay. Can get Mr. Frog out. Oh, sweet. He's a little small for my hands, but that's cute. Cute little froggy. So that's going to be the squishy that I squish on for today's video. So today's video was actually a fan um, suggestion. Thank you so much. Again, any suggest any and all suggestions for future vlogmas videos go ahead and put them down in the comments below and uh, if I think it's something I'm able to do then I'll do it also it's my grill and Sebastian shirt that one of my friends gave me because it was actually too small for her and it fit me perfectly so today's topic is um, well, I'm going to expand on the topic because I can't pick just one. Uh, the topic is favorite video games. And I hesitate a bit to say favorite video games only because um, quite a few of my favorite video games in the past, I happen to let it, let it be known that they're my favorites and... Um, 
then they disappear. <laughs> so it leaves me a bit hesitant, but uh, I'm just sitting here just playing with the rice. Um, but I'm going to say it anyway. Some of these games I think are pretty well established that, and I've played some of these games enough that I think it'd be okay if they happen to go online. Not that I want them to, but it's fine, I guess. Um, so one of them is already a game that has gone offline. There are some private servers up that people have set up. But unfortunately, it's um, new game content, which is the content that the players were very unhappy about. Um, well, a lot of the old players were very unhappy about. And that's uh, Star Wars Galaxies. <sighs> Star Wars Galaxies was some, uh, a game that my roommate introduced me to. And I was... <sighs> I don't know. It was it was an interesting game at first, and I loved. Um, I was starting to do the tr the level tree for uh, staffs, you know, like bow staffs and all that. And then the what's considered what broke the game is when. Um, that uh, that tree was completely taken out of the game. And it was... I know my roommate at the time, he was trying to grind to become Jedi. And the update made it so that you can instantly become Jedi. Instead of having to grind and work for it, which he was almost there. Me, I was almost to master... Um, Pull on, master pull arms, that's what it's called. And then it was taken out of the game. And I'm like, well, screw it. So to um, keep me in the game, because my roommate was good. He enjoyed doing PvP. He enjoyed doing, you know, some soloing, some of the harder levels. And the harder areas and the harder um, creatures to get the best gear. And so kind of keep me in the game because he enjoyed playing with me. He said, why don't you master entertainer? Which was basically dancing, music, and um, I think it was like uh, facial, facial design. You can like give characters different facial features, hair, that sort of stuff. Image designer, that's what it was called. And so I became a master in those three. But my main thing was just seeing them in the cantinas doing master entertainer where I was just dancing. And um, some of the big name popular bounty hunters on the server or big name um, PVPers would come to where I was so I could heal them or buff them. And then they pay me extra for information about where my, where in the galaxies my roommate was hiding. And <laughs> it was funny because my roommate would tell me this is where to send them. I'd be like, okay. And they'd go get their butt kicked by my roommate and then run right back to me so I can heal them. And together we were making quite a bit of uh, credits doing that. And it was fun. There were a couple of um, admins <laughs> or devs that would contact, you know, make sure that we weren't um, gold farmers, which was hilarious, or credit farmers, which was hilarious. I got pulled aside twice in question because I had so many credits and unfortunately I don't remember my character's names so don't ask um, but one of the what finally got 
them to leave me alone is like, look, I live with, insert, you know, my roommate's character's name. I said, they have given me permission to give their location so that they, you know, we have this thing going on. And they're like, oh, okay. So when they found out it was legit, you know, they kind of like left us alone. But yeah. And then I was also part of a guild, which was pretty, pretty good sized guild. It was fun. Um, but yeah, that uh, game is no longer around, unfortunately. So rip to Star Wars Galaxies. Second game is another game that is unfortunately no longer around. This was a game I actually, uh, this is back when I started doing Let's Plays. And so I have two different playlists um, that I make characters for. Um, one on the good side and one on the evil side um, for this game. And that's Wildstar. I... When my roommate initially tried to get me into Wildstar, I was not into it. I didn't get into it until way, way later. And I was loving the game. I was having so much fun. And then the news came that the servers are shutting down for good. And if you look at my channels, there is blocks where I that's all I played. That's all I posted. I just posted uh, Wildstar content. And then they announced, oh yeah, for the final two hours of the game, we're going to want players to meet at this, you know, this particular location for a final farewell. And if you haven't seen my Wildstar wrap up, the final farewell was just a crowded area that was very laggy with players just flexing with their abilities, their pets, and their um, their vehicles. It was ridiculous. The, the, the game had nothing for us. That was it. And then when the two hours were up, everybody just got booted. That's it. That is not a way to say goodbye to a game. I was so pissed. I'm still pissed about that because that's ridiculous. So Ripped Wildstar, that was so much fun do, having an Exiles character and a Dom Dominion character, I think was the other one. Yeah. Now, a game that I've been playing currently and that I have two Let's Plays on, I have a lot of fun, is Star Wars The Old Republic. And I have a ton of other alts that I play with as well. I'm trying to grind to get master in all the different trees. And uh, Star Wars Gal, I really like Star Wars, can you tell? Um, so Star Wars Galaxies is a really, f I currently have an active subscription with them. And um, yeah, I enjoy playing it. As you can tell, massively multiplayer role-play games are like my favorite games to play. Come here, babe. My kitty acted like she wanted to get in my lap. Let's see if she'll do that. Come here. Hey. Come here. You just want to be under my chair? Okay. It's fine. Come on. Come on. Come film a video here, kid. Come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. There we go, babe. Say, say hi. Hi. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this is Graham. I try not to force them to be in videos. Like, if they want to be on the video, that's fine. Yeah. I won't touch the frog if you're going to be in my lap. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I have a lot of fun playing it. Go through the different storylines and, you know, have the different companions. And, you know, it, it's a really fun game for me. Um, 
getting the different pets, the different vehicles, all that stuff. Ooh, careful, babe. Here's my old lady. She is over 10 years old. She'll be 11 in May on Mother's Day. Hi, May 10th? Yeah. So anyways, the next game is actually a game series that I really, really like. And that's Danganronpa. Miss Artistry was the one who introduced me to Danganronpa. Originally, I had just seen the an the first anime of it, and I was like, eh, it's okay, you know. And then, um, she wanted me to cosplay with her. And at first, I'm like, okay, I guess. So, I found, I don't remember who it was, but I found a Let's Player who, um, who played through the second game, which is the game she wanted me to cosplay with her from. She wanted me to cosplay uh, Fuyuhiku Kuzuryu. And she was going to cosplay uh, Peko Peko Yama. And, oh, that year, um, we did it at Fanmei. That year seemed like a cursed year. It seemed like everything that was going to go wrong was going to go wrong. But in the end, stuff came together, and um, we did a shoot with one of, actually two of our favorite photographers, and uh, made a friend along the way, and a uh, Nagato cosplayer, and it was a lot of fun, and that kind of like cemented me into the uh, Danganronpa fandom, and I've, I've watched playthroughs of 1, 2, Spare Girls, um, and V3. I've seen the anime for 1 and the anime for 3, you know, both parts of it, uh, along with the OVA. The only thing that I haven't gotten from them is the, like, the, the manga and the novel. And the novels and that's what I'm currently working on right now uh, I just don't have all the money to get all the things and plus not all the printed material is translated yet so there's that but I'm slowly working on it um, I've currently cosplayed which excuse me from that series um, Izuru Kamakura, uh, Kuzu, as I mentioned before, and uh, Monica Toa. And I have plans for so many other characters, it's not even funny. Um, but yeah, I'm currently doing a Let's Play of Danganronpa on my channel, if you want to go check that out. I've only had the first chapter completed, but I do plan to continue it. And ironically enough, when I, because I started doing the Let's Play, um, I kind of started picking up steam with it in October for my horror gaming series. And then Game Grumps started playing it. And Game Grumps are currently, as of this video, at the tri the second trial. And... Um, I'll catch up with them eventually, but let that let it be known. I'm not trying to copy Game Grumps. This is a series I've been wanting to play for a while. I just haven't had the money yet to to do it before now. And then there's so much other let's plays I'm doing at the moment that when I go to pick a let's play, I just pick what I feel, you know, drawn to at that moment. And unfortunately, it's not going to always be done with but I still love that series. Uh, Persona 5 is going to be the next, um, the next uh, game that I really, really like. Um, one of my favorite uh, creators on YouTube, who uh, she also has done a lot of Danganronpa character analysis and analysis about um, executions, unused executions, that sort of thing. 
Um, her channel is Weeby News. She actually did a Let's Play of Donnarumma V3, and then she did a Let's Play of Persona 5. And it was the first Persona game that I've ever watched played. And I was just so intrigued, and um, I enjoyed watching her Let's Her Let's Plays were like a couple hours at a time. But I still really enjoyed watching it, and when I was finally able to, I got the game. I also happened to get Persona 5, um, Persona 5, 3, 4, and 5, the dancing games. Currently, I'm only doing five because that's the game I know, but I do have plans on getting Persona 3 and Persona 4 and playing through those games, and then I'll be, feel like I can play three and four of the dancing games without getting spoilers. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> there's some characters in Persona 5 that I am a bit uh, sad that you can't date. I know there are other people that are probably like me that want to date Sai, Ryuji, Yusuke, uh, Akechi. I mean, give us those options. Give us some DLC, you know? But I digress. Um, I'm doing a personal Let's Play, and with the personal Let's Play, I'm dating on. Um, but once I get a capture card, uh, I'll do another Let's Play, and uh, I'll date someone else. I don't want to say who. I want to be a complete surprise. But it's not from the Persona group. No, it's not anyone that has a Persona. Just letting you know. Uh, next up is a game that I used to really, really, really love. And unfortunately, I can't anymore. Even though it's my comfort game and I still go back to it just because I'm comfortable with it, I'm used to it. And that's World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft has changed its lore and its um, gaming styles and all that so much. At times it's just not enjoyable. It's not fun anymore. And then with um, this latest update that they did, or this latest expansion, where they just broke everything, it's like, no, this is not fair. I wasn't happy with it, and it took me a while to actually boot up the game and then look through and see what I can do. I'm still trying to figure out what to do with my Let's Play characters that have had, because almost all of them have had their levels like knocked down so much. Some of them a lot. So I'm trying to figure out what to do about those characters, which is why you haven't seen any real World of Warcraft um, Let's Plays, except for Classic. Classic is something that I can still enjoy because it's, like I said, the classic bit of the game. But I feel that with the way Blizzard is, sooner or later they're going to ruin Classic as well. And I'm not... I'm not going to be happy with that either. Um, the Walking Dead. I've only played the first game. And I'm on chapter three, I think. I, okay. I like The Walking Dead. There are a lot of times I don't like playing it. And I've stated this before. I don't like playing it because the action happens, boom, so fast. Sorry, babe, I didn't mean to startle you. She's sitting in my lap purring, and I do that reaction. She's like, <clears throat> and I don't have good reaction time. Um, it's part of my disabilities, and which is why I happen to die a lot until I like, oh, okay, I have to press this this, this, and this, and then hope I don't die, you know, it's just, it's very nerve-wracking, It I'm just on edge and stressed every time I play it, I'm relieved when I finish the episode, and I sign off, and I feel so, so bad, 
And then there are things, um, my vi there are times that my eyes and my brain don't um, talk to each other. And sometimes I don't register that something is there that I need to do or pick up or touch or whatever. And unfortunately, it leads to bad decisions. And I know some of you who have seen my Let's Plays are probably yelling at me through the screen, but that's what that is. So I'm sorry about that. I hope that kind of like clears things up. And you're not as mad at me for that. Another game that is not here. Hold on. Another game that is no longer here is City Heroes City of Villains. My roommate and I were actually talking about this game last night. Can you see the pattern? I like massively multiplayer roleplay games. I love superhero type games and fantasy type games and space, you know, with Star Wars. But I like the idea of creating a superhero or a supervillain and then just you know, fighting crime or whatever. And it was a fun game. Unfortunately, like I said, it's no longer around. What they did differently that I really, really liked uh, when they were going to shut down the servers is they had an area where you could pose in front of. And they opened it up for heroes and villains. And you could pose, you could put your character in a pose and then log out and your character would stay frozen that way. And then you can log in a different character, go to that area and then pose and log out. And your character would stay that way. That way you could, and then once the game was officially over, it stayed, the server stayed active for a couple days so that you can log in in what was considered spectator mode. And you could see all the different characters, all the different heroes and villains in the different poses. And you could see all the people that loved the game. And that was their way of saying goodbye. And I thought that was so awesome. And it's like, why didn't uh, Wildstar take a page out of that book, you know? They could have done that. They easily could have done that, and they didn't. They failed. One last game that I forgot to write down, and because I have my little notes over here, um, is, actually, sorry, is actually a children's game. But I still ha and, but it's a children's game that's been around for a while, and I still have a lot of fun playing it. And that's Wizard 101. And you see my Let's Plays of it. You see my stream. Oh, I've forgotten to delete the blog for the 10th, and so I ran out of room. <laughs> I'll wrap this up. So yeah, Wizard 101 is a really fun game. You see me do streams. You see me do a stream of it. You see me do let's play of it. And I have a lot of fun with the characters just running around and doing the different um, spells that they have and learning the different stories. It's a lot of fun. Um, I haven't really ventured much away from Wizard City uh, and I only have one character that's my personal character that's ventured to Krakatopia and um, I, I still have a lot of fun playing it you know a real casual fun game that um, you know I play as I want <clears throat> And I still have a lot of fun, you know, just because it's a casual little children's game doesn't mean that you can't have fun with it. There are also other games that I enjoy playing. Um, I have mobile games that I play. Um, I A lot of the games that I play are to help with my mind because I have issues with 
um, remembering and concentrating and such. Uh, so I used to play Sailor Moon Drop, and unfortunately, that game is no longer available. Uh, I play other games where, you know, like Match 3 and all that. Those are games that are fun to me. Um, I enjoy little clicker games, you know, when I'm bored, just clicking away um, and listening to music. You know, it's relaxing. Um, yeah, that's just a real small, like, off the top of my head. I was able to write down some games I enjoy. I know there's others I'm not remembering. Um, I was going to say Tara, but I'm currently mad at Tara right now. Tara, from what I understand, Tara was taken over by another company. And I had to... They, they sent me an email that's like, oh, you need to move your character to the new server because it's a whole new server move and everything, account move. And they're like, oh, but if you don't do this uh, account server move, then you can't play the game, you know, right away when the servers go, you know, live, live, da, 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 and all that. So fine. It took me two different tries to download re-download Terra because I already had downloaded I had to re-download it with this new um, uh, launcher create an account with the launcher um, it still hasn't you know um, um, certified my email even though I confirmed it twice and then when I log in today, this was like before the whole uh, internet going down debacle. So today I go to log in. I see it's all downloaded. I go to log in. All my characters are there. So I'm like, okay, they're there. I go to log in with one of my personal characters and the game is so laggy. And it's just... Like, I was waiting a couple of minutes to be able to move a character just a little tiny bit. And it's like, this is not worth it. So, I told my roommate and he said, well, wait a week and then try again. So, maybe, I just, I don't know. But anyways, um, my pain is starting to go up because it is wet and rainy. Outside, I think tomorrow is going to be a, um, tomorrow I go back to work. So I think I'm going to need my cane for work. But anyways, just for balance, just in case. But anyways, that's going to be all for now. Thank you so, so much for watching. Um, are some of these games games that you also really enjoy if not what games do you enjoy you know maybe I can uh, check them out go ahead and let me know in the comments below anyways please stay safe stay happy and I'll talk to y'all later I hope I did my outro correctly that's going to be all for now. Thank you so much for watching. Please stay safe, stay happy, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.